The string fruit is a fruit that belongs to a guy called Doflamingo. And I've never used or even seen one before in Blocks Fruits. Until right now. It'd be kind of bad if I dropped this thing into the ocean. So today we are going to become Doflamingo in Blocks Fruits. And we are going to be upgrading this thing to maximum and becoming a max level Doflamingo. But first we got to eat this spiky looking thing. I would not eat this if I had the choice IRL. But there we go. String fruit activated. And luckily the maximum mastery I need is 225. To complete our Doflamingo cosplay, we need the pink coat on. There we go. Look at me now. And when I awaken, I'll be able to improve my drip even more. All right. And now that I'm here, I can come over here and get a quest. What is my quest? Who do you want me to defeat with my new string fruit? Female Islanders? I've got this. Rainbow string. Ooh, wait, that's sick. And there we go. Our first enemy defeated. How much mastery are we going to get? Come on. Mastery 55. We've got two new moves. F abilities are always movement. So let's see. How fast can I move? String path. I'm just Spider-Man. Miles Morales who? And then multi-string attack. Oh, it like smacks them into the ground. This fruit seems really cool, actually. String String path is just a little bit slow. So maybe awakened form is going to make it like really fast. Multi string attack. Yes. You can't beat me. This is going to take so long only using string moves though, but I'm committed. I'm going to do this. I got moves. I'll get pinned down. Oh, that felt good. 70 mastery. Pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. Let's go. Where's my portal fruit? Where's my car? All right, let's stop the pirates. Kind of a problem is though, I don't do enough damage. So I need to hope that I can like get a final hit like this. I need to try and steal a hit. I got this. Multi-string attack. Yes, I got a kill. That's all that matters. I see somebody that's low. You're all mine. Yes. But these give actually really good mastery because they're all like super high levels. When you don't have a lot of moves, literally like barely anything happens. Now give me the devil fruit. What was it? He says, I love fruit you. You know what I think about this? Spider-Man throw. <laughs> he says, hey, go on, try and get the fruit back. All right, I'm out of here in style. Wait, we still got a ton of progress to do because I've only killed two out of eight of these islanders so far. Wait, can string path do damage? Come on. It does not do damage. It does not do damage. Isn't that club a little bit too heavy for you? Here, let me take it off your hands. Hiya! It's still alive. Try and hit me. Water body. Oh, wait, I'm actually like 500 IQ. I surprise myself sometimes. And there we go. Mastery 94. We're getting so close to overheated sniper. Our next move is a sniper rifle. I'm excited. I can't wait. Mastery 99. We are so close. This one over here will have to do. Rainbow string. Nice. Mastery 100. And I've got a sniper rifle now, apparently. I got to test this out, surely. Overheated sniper. Oh, it actually is a sniper rifle. That range is insane. How far does this go? I'm off all the way on top of Pride Rock. Target spotted. Friendly chopper gonna inbound. Wait, what? Did I just like misclick or something? Hold on. We need to like properly test. Overheated sniper. Did I hit? Like we got to test. Nope, she's still full. Okay, so it doesn't go that far, but it still has insane range. This fruit is so cool. And it does like 3.5k damage as well. My blocks fruit isn't even maxed as well. Me likey do flamingo. And grinding doesn't take seven years now because I've got three moves. Only two more islanders left. And then I'm going to get 62.5 million XP. Yeah. Hey, we did it. And we got a bunch of XP as well. I think I'm ready to test my fruit on some bosses. Like this boss over here. What was this guy called again? Captain Elephant. Here I go. Overheated sniper. I'm off to a good start. This coat is not really that useful for the third C. You seem to just get hit by everything. Ah! Okay, it's sniper rifle time. I'm just staying back. I'm just gonna keep hitting him with the sniper rifles. I just gotta stay safe. Hit him with one of these. And now one of these. Boom! Nice. Big mom is next. I am like still super low from that first guy though, so I'm kind of scared. This could really not go well, especially when I can barely get up the wall. Is she here? Yep, she is. She's already being attacked. No time to mess around then. Come on, come on. Rainbow string. Multi-string attack. Overheated sniper. Yes, this is going so well. Rainbow string again. All right, my skills are nearly off cooldown. This is what I was missing. Boom. I just sent her into space. Yes. Look at all the string mastery. 189. We're getting so close to ultimate thread. Where are we now? Who are we fighting? Oh, we're going up here to the great tree. We're fighting the Kilo Kilo girl. Come on then. Try and Kilo us. She just didn't even try. <laughs> Multi string attack. I can just stop her from moving with that move. Okay. Get over here. And then rainbow string. I'm doing good. Wait, she's going to respawn. She has just not respawned. There we go. Now she's respawned. I got the moves. I got the moves. I just got a string path away. She'll never hit me. I'm too quick. Ooh. Item drop lay. What is that? Did I get her like umbrella? Oh, it's like a flower necklace. That's all well and good, but I care more about the mastery. And for the last 12 mastery that I need, I'm just gonna spend this time taking down these islanders because this should, yep, 214. Every single one I take down, I think I get one mastery. So that's pretty useful. Wait, I should probably go for like multiple at once. That's like the smart thing to do. It's also like the super risky thing to do, but I like risky. Double snipe. I missed both of them. That's not good. Oh, I hit them both with that though. Rainbow string. Wait, is this like single target? Is that how this fruit works? Wait, snipe. I actually hit them both. I was crazy. Yeah, good luck trying to hit me. I can dodge your attack in my sleep. See? Easy. It's my observation hacky that I don't even have to have active. It's ingrained in my skull. Watch this. IRL observation hacky. 
<laughs> See? I'm just physically built different. The final bit of mastery I need, I of course have got to use a sniper rifle. Bang! And a headshot as well. Now we've got our final move, ultimate thread. But we are only going to use that once we start doing our awakening stuff. And this fruit is already so much fun, so let's go see what the awakening moves can do. However, before we do any raids, we need to test our luck in the gacha. Come on, show me the luck. Am I going to be lucky in the raids? A revive fruit. Hopefully that means I'm not going to die. The string raid. Ooh, this is awfully like plain looking, actually. I thought it was going to be like more stringy. Oh, I'm already being attacked. Here we go. Time to test my new move. Ultimate thread. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. It seems quite strong. Does it change if I do a jumping attack, though? Time for the true test. It's got such a long cooldown, so that better be like my most high damaging move or something, because that cooldown is crazy. Ultimate thread! Oh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Ooh, the second island is like a ruin. And I see a perfect place that I can hide in. All right, this is where I'm going to live. I'm just going to snipe everyone like that. Ultimate thread. Oh, wait, this is like really long range. Ooh. Oh, I fell. No, my hiding spot. This sniper rifle is honestly kind of hard to aim. This is definitely going to take some practice. Oh, wait, am I going to lose the sniper rifle when I awaken? Oh, I hope not. This is one of my favorite moves I've ever used in Blocks Roots. Who are you? Get away from me. Oh, no, I don't have any string moves on cooldown. Island two cleared. Ooh, island three. It doesn't look like there's many hiding spots, but I see a rock that I can stand on. How do I go up with the string fruit? I can only go across. It's so hard to go up. All right, we jump into the air and now snipe. Bonk. Ultimate thread. 17k. What? Wait, this move is cracked. The final island. Is the boss going to be Doflamingo? Are we going to have a cool shades battle, I wonder? Let's see. I'm coming in to give back up. I have no idea where the boss spawns, so I'm just going to like chill here and hope for the best. Oh, boss spawning in. Here he comes. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. What is he doing? Wait, that move seemed crazy. I'll fight the minions. You guys can handle that boss. That's like very terrifying. Where's the boss gone? Oh, there he is. Snipe. Oh, that would have been so cool if I hit that. Congratulations, you completed the raid. Oh, what am I going to get first? Mysterious entity. Awaken my string fruit. Do you want to awaken your Z for 500 fragments? Yes, sir. Our new move is called thermal laceration. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, thermal laceration. Let's see how much damage it does and see if it's actually worth it. Thermal laceration. Oh, it's like a multi-hit attack. It's kind of like flame breathing from Demon Slayer. And I like it. If I tap it, it only fires one of them as well. <laughs> this devil fruit seems like it's perfect for long range fights because like I've got a literal sniper rifle and now some like flame slashes that go so far and the boss is back, but he is not ready for my new move, which I didn't actually hit once. That's kind of sad. Ultimate thread. That also didn't hit him. All right, then I'll just have to snipe him instead. Hold on, the sniper isn't working. I'm going in close. I'm going to try and burn him with my thermal lacerations. Snipe. That was huge. That was actually huge. Massive damage, massive. I need to get my ultimate and then I can finish the boss. Never mind, the boss is already dead. I nearly did it all by myself though. Just this guy left. Yay, we completed the raid. Time to awaken my next move. My F ability. It's called God's Highway. I can't wait to see how fast I travel now then. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to use it. We're gonna use it straight away. God's oh. Highway. Ooh. Wait, I use loads of string to fly around now. And I can go like wherever I want now. How high can I go? I can go as high as I want. Oh, that's so good because the previous one, you could only go in a straight line. Does it do damage? Come on, big attack. It is not doing any damage at all. It's definitely better than the previous move though, so I'm happy. I really am basically just here as emotional support at this point. Like my snipes, I only hit like one in five. Or if they're running straight towards me. Not really ideal. Ultimate attack. Okay, I mean, I did some damage then. I feel somewhat useful. Spider-Man, is that you? Yes, sir, it is. Look at me. I'm just like the awakened Spider-Man though. Also, if Spider-Man had a sniper rifle, that's me. Whoa, I can actually kind of keep up with Dragon's Flight. That's crazy. All because of a few little strings. And maybe when I'm awakened, I'll be able to keep up with Dragon's damage. Well, honestly, that seems unlikely unless this X move becomes crazy. Wait, if I get in the air, like basically nobody can stop me. I can just keep sniping enemies. Oh, is that an enemy on the other side of the island? Don't worry, teammates. I got this. Snipe. I missed. That would have been so cool, but I'm just bad. What about one of these? This one's way harder to miss. See, that was easy. All right, tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. I'm going to leave this to the teammates. Time to get our brand new move. Hello, mysterious entity. How much are you going to charge me this time? 3.5k for my X ability. It's called Silk Prison, though. So I'm guessing this one's going to be absolutely crazy then. As long as it, like, traps them and stops them from moving, I am so happy. The Doflamingo cosplay is slowly becoming real. If anything spawns here, it's, it's gone. Oh, wait, it really is a silk prison. I didn't get a good look, though, because I was, like, mega zoomed in. Here I go, new move. Silk prison! Wait, how does this move work? I am confused. Maybe I don't hold it down? Okay, that damage seems, like, kind of terrible. Maybe I'm missing something. What could I be missing? What if I hold it down over there? Oh, if you hold it down, it goes, like, a bigger area, I think. Unless I'm seeing things. Wait, I was very wrong. This silk prison is actually cracked. I can't wait to use this move on the final island. It's gonna go absolutely crazy. I'm gonna get, like, 40k damage in one hit. It's the final island. It's time to test my theory. If I hold this up, I should be able to cover this entire island. Oh, I'm excited to see my damage. I'm gonna go up. We need more enemies to spawn. We need more enemies to spawn. This isn't enough. Aha, here we go. Here we go. 
Look at the... Oh, 12K? I am very happy with that. <gasps> ah, no. My water body's on cooldown. I'm just going to keep on using my cage and hoping for the best. And I'll charge it up all the way so it does like maximum distance. The boss is getting very low. There's no escape, boss. Oh, that was so much faster. At least it felt like I was doing more that time. Now that I'm awakening these moves, I'm actually feeling way stronger now. I am now deserving of these glasses. Oh, we got a move called Eternal White. These awakening moves are so edgy. I love it. Okay, with a name like Eternal White, this thing better make everything white. Let's try it out. Eternal White. Oh, it's that move. Me likey. Me likey a lot. As soon as I saw the raid boss using that, I was like, yep, that move is going to be cool. And now we've got it. And there's only one thing to do. We're going to go way up into the sky and we're going to use it from as far away as possible. Eternal white. That move actually seems crazy. I'm so nearly close to be deserving of these glasses. Just one more move and then I'll truly be dofy with a fin and bacon hair. But we don't need to sweat the small stuff. Oh no, that's the boss. Why is he coming towards me? Yo, chill, bro. All right, I got my moves. I got my moves. Use this. And then we use this. The boss is up there. I think I hit it. Yeah, I hit him a bunch. Oh no, I'm being got. Psych. I'm good. Why does this guy want to take me down so bad? Fine then. We've nearly beat them all. Come on, take this guy down. There's one. Use my silk prison. We're so close to doing this. We are so close. There's just a couple more. How is this guy not dead yet? Please. Yes, there's one. Here's the last one. I got this. This is for my final move. Silk prison. Yes. Oh, we did it. And with this, hello, mysterious entity. Give me my awakening. This is literal daylight robbery. For 6K? Oh, I have enough. My final move called a heavenly punishment. Why is this guy like cool walking? Hey, you come over here. We need to square up. This is your punishment for walking like that. Heavenly punishment. Wait, that lasts so long. Oh my God. This is pretty good. Me likey. Time to test out all my moves. Now, while he's trapped, hit him with this. Ooh, wait, I'm kind of built different now. I am, after all, Doflamingo, is what you thought I'd say, but actually, no. There's one final hidden objective I have to complete before I'm truly Doflamingo, and he's living rent-free in my house right now. This house right here this is mine. I need it. Swan, you're wearing the same glasses as me, and you're also in my house. Let's do this. Silk prison. Eternal white. Oh, I hit him with that. Oh, that's a weak version of what I've got. That's right, mine's so much better. You're so much weaker than me. Thermal laceration did nothing to me. I'm not even worried. Wow, that did such little damage. Take this. Eternal white. Look at the damage. It's getting kind of close. It's psych destroyed. I am now Doflamingo.